everyone. This is Reb Brad, and this is the Soccer Chaplains United podcast from the Touchline. Today's podcast is part of our Lesson from Lasso series, and regular listeners know by the sound of that tune, you can skip ahead a minute and get into the pod for the day. Well, unless you've been under a rock, off the grid, or stranded on a deserted island for the last few years, you've probably heard of the Ted Lasso show. And after being around professional football for so many years as a chaplain, I thought I would offer a chaplain's perspective on what we see on the screen. I believe there's some great lessons to be learned. Whether you're a person of faith or not, there are personal and professional points of development no matter what your relationship with soccer. Athletes, coaches, staff, executive, even fans of the beautiful game will hopefully find the next few minutes creative, challenging, and encouraging for all of us at the same time. Thanks for listening. Here we go with another lesson from Ted Lasso. He's found the space, and he's found the back of the net. Just a little off foot, thinking he's going to go far post. Not strong enough with his right hand. Whips that one in. Far post, almost made him in, and they have. He has the hat trick. The second in his career. The third of the night. The hat trick hero. Talked about you're not going to be able to sustain that kind of pressure. the corner, goes towards the near post, and you're at the angle, and what a goal! What a goal! Today's lesson from Lasso hits right at the heart of the matter. As we watch AFC Richmond, they've just come back from 2-0 down. Wonder boy Jamie Tart scored two goals to bring the team back into the mix. However, he's been so divisive that Coach Lasso decides to pull perhaps the bravest and brashest of moves as he benches a superstar with an early and unnecessary substitution. The announcers, the fans, the crowd at the pub all deride Lasso for this decision. Why pull off your best player? Why take away your best chance at scoring and winning the game? Well, as we enter the locker room at halftime, the team is glum. Most don't understand or see the coach's decision. The team lacks hope. They just don't get it. They can't see what Lasso sees, but Lasso calls it for what it is. We're broken. We need to change. And I know that change can be scary. Hear those words again. We're broken. We need to change. And change is scary. As a Christian person, as a chaplain and pastor, I don't think there could be any better description of the human condition. We are broken. All of us. There isn't a single person in the whole of the world and throughout the entirety of human history, save one who isn't broken, who isn't destitute, who isn't in need of a change, in need of a savior. The Apostle Paul articulates this in his letter to Roman Christians in the early first century. He writes, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. In theological terminology, we use the term total depravity to speak to the utter sense of the human condition. Everyone, everywhere, in all time, in every part of our human nature has been somehow touched by, hampered, damaged by sin and the effects of sin. Whether it's moral or spiritual, physical, mental, or more, the result is that we are all utterly and hopelessly broken. Our world is broken. For some of you that are scientifically minded, I know you can understand this through some of the laws of physics, specifically the second law of thermodynamics, which says things are constantly breaking down. Things are constantly approaching a state of entropy or disorder. Things are broken. I've been around football for a long time, and in that time, I've known countless stories. And as a chaplain, personally, and I've professionally observed the utter brokenness, whether it's the brokenness in an athlete the brokenness in a team, an organization, a league, a federation, and, and even in the stories of success where you see a team come together and you see cohesion at any level in football, that cohesion just doesn't last long. And there's extreme brokenness at every level of the beautiful game. If you know soccer, you know that more recently there have been calls for change. Calls that say, let's change the way that we pay players. Let's change the way that the youth system has become pay to play. Let's change the way that we handle concussions and health and mental health issues. Let's change the way that abuse gets handled in the game. Let's change, I don't know, just fill in the blank. And like Lasso says, we need to change. AFC Richmond might need to change as much as your own team needs to change. But when we speak in spiritual terms, we don't merely just acknowledge a need for change. 
we know that the change from a Christian point of view is the need for a savior, Jesus, the only perfect person to walk this earth, God himself coming down to reconcile and turn back what has become broken so early on in our human history. You know, there's a popular cultural phrase going around right now, be the change you want to see. The problem is that total depravity means that we cannot self-source that change. We need something. We need someone external to our own selves, external to the process. And Jesus is the one who can affect change, the change we need in our world, in our lives, in our football teams, and much, much more. Well, Coach Lasso's final comment speaks to the scary part of change. And I'll be the first to raise my hand. I don't like change. I struggle with change. It can be scary, but we don't have to be afraid. Jesus' words recorded in Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 through 30, invites us for real life change. He says this, are you tired, worn out, burned out on religion? Come to me. Get away with me and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me, and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. Well, thanks for listening to this lesson from Ted Lasso. This is Reb Brad coming to you from the Touchline.